This is ever new with word in Korean and Tahar. Today, the topic under discussion in plant breeding and genetics is major achievements in plant breeding are as follows improvement in crop yield. So, in this case, in the 20th century. There was often from the yield of meat and rice was as follows 6 to 7 quintals per hectare and in case of rice was 11 quintals per hectare. But increase due to great green revolution turned into 30 quintals per hectares of wheat and same about same was in case of rice and now it is 60 to 70 quintals per hectare in case of wheat this is all due to the major achievements by plant breeding same was in quality like a plant lepros Sativus having the neurotoxin cause paralyzing in our lower limbs and the plant then was become free from this toxic due to plant breeding techniques. Similarly, cotton was also improved in its fiber length and strength. Sugar cane and sugar beet were improved due to increasing the quantity of the sugar. Oil seed crops were also be improved by increasing the oil quantity. Fruits and vegetables were also improved. So this was also all about the achievements due to the plant breeding new varieties was are, were also developed like in semi dwarf varieties in case of wheat uh, it was done by N. E. Borlaug in Mexico Cement Research Center where Norin 10 gene was injected or into the spring wheat crop from the Norin 10 variety of Japan which was the dwarf variety. Result was a semi dwarf variety having high yield photo insensitive, rust resistance, logic resistance and high fertilizer response stimulus. This was all due to the not breeding achievements. Similarly was done in rice. Example is IR8, you can say, was developed in Philippines. The center was IRRI having the characters like lodging resistance, photo fertilizer responsiveness, yield increased and photo insensitivity. So similarly in case of maize, sorghum, oat, barley and cotton was improved by using plant breeding techniques. Early maturation was also Practiced, practiced in crops, four month crops was matured into three months as the example of cotton which was the crop of 270 days but now it is of 170 days. So the benefits was to improve the crop rotation, adjustment of other new other crops, expense decrease, pasture decrease, time decrease, 
and then new crops were adjusted into the crop rotations this was all due to the plant breeding then next is biotic and abiotic resistance biotic for disease and insects and abiotic for drought resistance cold resistance so the next nobilization of sugar cane the best example is of sugar cane berry which was improved by a skerm berry by skerm with the skerm office in him so which was afficine which was having the high sugar contents more softness high yield more height and more thickness so these are qualities were improved in by crossing with sugar skerm officine to the skerm barberry so next is the future prospects of plant breeding uh, there was the achievement of 50% was due to the new releasing or introducing new varieties and 50% of this was achievement was due to the new in, introducing new technologies so as we know that the world population was 5.7 billion in 2019 and will increase 10 billion up till 2050 it is the alarming situation for us so when we say in agriculture agriculture potential is also going to decrease the reasons are due to the economic potential profit of the farmer is going to decrease due to soil erosion fertility is going to decrease in our soils deforestation desertification water logging water erosion these are all the reasons which are responsible for the decreasing agricultural potential so what we can do to develop new varieties new food new food sources must be search adjustment of new varieties in new climatic conditions genetic engineering must be applied for increasing yield and decreasing cost collection of the germ plasm of wild species their conservation etc is most important so this was all about the achievement of with reference to the plant buildings thank you